America. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy. Happy hump day. Hump day. You know what I'm saying, baby? Listen, listen, listen. Now, today is Wednesday. Hump day. Hump day. And usually, the finer establishments have Wing Wednesdays. Now, one of the one of the finest establishments that sponsors a Wing Wednesday is Hooters. Yes, Hooters, Hooters, damn it, Hooters. But what I discovered yesterday is that they also have a two-four deal on Tuesdays. So your boy went out and bought No. Your boy had some wings sponsored. Thank you, Cookie. She sponsored me getting 20 wings with 20 extra wings. Now, if you're a person that follows me on Facebook, then you've seen the post that I did now. If you're on Facebook, more than likely it's down here, okay? If you're on YouTube, it might be beneficial for you to join me on Facebook. Okay? Inky Man. I-N-K-Y-M-A-N-N. Okay? So, I put up... I had 40 wings. Mild. Hot. And I asked this question on that particular uh, live that I did. So I'm going to ask you this question. If you eat wings, do you like drums? So yesterday it was just jumping in my mouth. Right now, I'm picking them up. Mm. Oh. oh, drums, you like drums? This is also going to be a mukbang episode, by the way. Quasi mukbang. Mm. 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 Just drop it in my mouth. Yeah, there, man. But I still got a point to prove. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on now. Mm. Quick sidebar. <laughs> Y'all know anybody who eats the bone? I have relatives. That's how I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put relatives who would eat the bone. We'd eat some chicken. And they gnaw it. <laughs> I love this word. They gnaw the meat down to the bone, and then they would proceed start snacking on the bone. What is the benefit of that? I don't know. Probably the same same benefit. Nah, I ain't gonna go there. I don't know what the benefit is. But the question was, do you like drums? Or do you like flats? Mm. Mm. Oh Lord. Mm. What Bernie What Bernie Mac say on Friday? Claude Hammers. Mm. Shut. I'm sorry, brother. You know you know what brother get the grease on? The food be good. You know, some people out dance with the food, sing a little song. Mm. But this brother right here, sometimes I get to cuss him. Mm. Try to curve back on him. You know what I'm saying, baby? Mm. Now I know there's some. I'm gonna call you a fool, but you ain't a fool. I know there's some individual. We're probably looking at this song. Um, damn. He is really grabbing. You're right. <laughs> I'm really grabbing. 
And even though this ain't officially beer, it's my liquor. I'm gonna do like Ludacris and have me some chicken and beer. You know what I'm saying? Damn, baby. Mm. You know, the thing is, I don't even know what to talk about. Actually, yes, I does. Yes, I does. Go check this out. So, I don't know about where you are, but I'm out here in Vegas. And the mask, wearing the mask, the mandate is slowly creeping back into existence. You're hearing about the Delta virus and variants, excuse me. You're hearing about the Delta variant. <laughs> excuse me. Whew. I, I, look. I mean, easily I could have edited that out, but it's a natural function. At least I didn't fart. Right? Anyway, uh, so there's this Delta variant that's coming into play and supposed to be more severe than COVID and this, that, and the third. So you're hearing about people being sick. And I don't know if you guys are paying attention to some of these things, these articles that have come out prior to what I'm about to say. But they keep focusing on people getting the vaccine. You know, the people that don't have vaccines, they're 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 starting to get the ones that have vac the vaccine sick. At least that's what I have heard. That is in some things I read. Doesn't mean it's all over the place. This is this is where a dialogue can begin. But I'm trying to figure out. Okay, no, no. Okay, be a little behind. Be a little behind. Thanks to my writer over here. Come on, man, do your job. With this new Delta variant, first it was, I was hearing about California, and uh, there are parts in California where they were mandating the mask, like in certain places that you go, you have to wear the mask again. All right, so I remember a friend of mine, me and a friend of mine, she, was talking about being in California and we were talking about the mask. Actually, she had a post about toilet paper and how toilet paper would be going back up again and then, then being scarce and all that. But we got to talking about the mask situation and I was telling her that the t at the time that I saw what she put, maybe the next day I saw that they were talking about the mask being mandated over here. Then I went to the grocery store, me and Cookie, Cookie and I, and there was literally a sign in front of the doors that said they urged people that were not vaccinated to wear the mask. Now let me go back to the unvaccinated thing because this is what I was trying to get at. One of the things I was trying to get at. Have you noticed that they've been pushing for people to get this vaccine? They're pushing for people to get this vaccine. They're pushing for people to get the vaccine down to the point of out here, they're giving money away if you get vaccinated. If you get a vaccine out here, your name goes into a drawing for cash prizes, all right? Prior to that, I was hearing about other lotteries and things like that that came down to the vaccine, giveaways, and all sorts of stuff for the sake of the vaccine, all right? And so you see these news reports, especially when it came to the Delta variant that they're focusing on the unvaccinated people, right? They need to get it. We're not, you know, we're still sick because people refuse to be vaccinated. We were in the Uber the other day. Now we've been wearing masks because it's just how it goes. We get into this one lady's car and at some point we're talking about the uh, vaccine and she was saying, and people are stupid. They're not wearing masks. I don't know if you remember, I did a show about something about this and it's at the point now where it's the mask and the unmask. You know, there's still gay versus not gay. There's still race conflict. But now the new conflict is, do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? Are you vaccinated? Are you not vaccinated? And it's, and it's like this prejudgment that's going on. It's prejudice. That's what I was trying to say. It's like this prejudice is going on. And there's all these arguments about it. So I'm saying all that to say, I saw an article just Tuesday and it said 
that people that are vaccinated need to wear the mask. Are you damn kidding me? No, he, he, I can't wait till y'all catch on to that. If you haven't seen it already, if you have, you haven't. Let's 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 engage. Let's engage. Okay. I'm trying to figure out as much as you are pushing this vaccine. How are people that have the vaccine still getting sick from people who are not vaccinated? And how is it now that even if you are vaccinated, you now have to put on the mask? Does, does this make sense to anybody? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not judging you if you wear the mask or you don't. I'm not. I'm just creating a dialogue that needs to be had. I'm not a president. I'm not a person in Congress. I can't make that much noise. I can only deal with the people who pay attention to me. But with those people who do pay attention to me, you know, this is the time for you to speak out. I'm not understanding this whole vaccine situation. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You know, there's still the chicken pox shot. There's still the German measles shot. There's still all these other shots that you're supposed to get. Remember there was the H N H1N1, there was the swine flu, there was SARS, all these things came into existence and they like came and they went, you know? And I don't recall them pushing for shots. You know what I mean? Even in the case of SARS, they were trying to say it was like a, basically, so that I'm correct, you know, I'm not saying anything that is not true. I recall that when the SARS situation was out there, Asians were the most afraid of it, okay? And I don't know if it was because it was like in Japan or if it was in parts of China or, but when we go with the Asian diaspora, the Asians were the most scared of it. And they were at the point that they were married, wearing masks at the airport, things like that, okay? And then people that were in America that were Asian, Asian American, they were wearing masks, but it wasn't like it was now, like where everybody has it, right? And nobody was pushing for shots or anything. If anything, you still heard about, go get your flu shot, go get your flu shot, go get your flu shot. But they still weren't having lotteries and stuff. It was just like, if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. I ain't had a shot like that in, I don't know how long. That's all I'm going to say. Because I noticed also that when people say that, all of a sudden they get it. And I don't know if there's agents out there. I don't want it to sound crazy, but it just seems like, you know, like, People were getting it that were really against it. And the next thing you know, like Trump got it. D.L. Hughley got it. Kevin Hart got it. Dave Chappelle got it. And these are people that I know of. There's, I'm sure there's plenty more, okay? But it's just, it's just weird how this whole thing is going because I have never in my life... Re now, I remember a pandemic. It was called AIDS. And if anything, it scared people into having sex. It scared people into not using needles. Because at first it was a gay disease that was coming off. No, first it was this disease that came from Africa. Like this new monkey paw bullshit that I had heard about yesterday. Monkey paw. All these diseases for some reason come out of Africa. Okay? And so that's where it was. Some monkey in Africa. And then it was like patient zero. It was this guy. Then it turned out that the guy was gay. And then it turned into a gay disease. You know, if you're having sex, if you're, you know, if you're having gay sex, then, you know, you could get it. So then, you know, then there was that, there was, I think that that's probably spurned what we have as far as how the gay community is now, as far as how fierce they are now. But back then, that was what was a, that was one of the biggest cause for gay bashing and gays getting attacked and this, that, and the third. That was one of them. Um, but when AIDS was out, you know, they were urging you not to share needles. So it was Africans had it. Then it was the gay people were the reasons. Then it turned into if you're using drugs and you're sharing needles. You know what I mean? And so this became, the, the AIDS was, this, this, was, was just this epidemic. It wasn't a pandemic, but it was close. All right? Because everybody was scared of it. And how to get it. Nobody knew how to get it because it was all this information. Now, I was around when that time was going on. A lot of you, some of you, do not know what I'm talking about at all. You may have heard of AIDS, but you do not recall that time period. So then you fast forward to now 
where they're making COVID-19 a big thing. Everybody needs a shot. Everybody needs a shot first. They couldn't even find a way to solve it. Yet another country that had it first, they were able to solve it. But America just couldn't. They fighting for that. Then Big Pharma jumps in. Hey, we got a way that you can get it. Hey, we got a way that you can get it, but you need two shots and all this other stuff. The big names at that. Johnson & Johnson, come on. You know, just all these big names. It got down to, like, companies that had nothing to do with masks were coming up with masks and cures, okay? So COVID-19 hit the way that it did. Now this Delta variant is, is in there, and it's just all this misinformation that's going on about it is just enough to make you crazy if you choose to be in that space, which I don't. Let me take me a little wing over here. Mm. Alright, damn it. I, I, I saw it wasn't going to cost, but... Damn it. Mm, man. I'm going to have to remember what I'm talking about. Mm, I'm trying to... Mm, that's what I'm doing. Mm. Making a big deal. Mm. Something like that. Mm. Those bad... Mm. Oh, this also will be a little bit of muck bang. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, who? Where'd it come out? Well, the point I was trying to make. Oh, first of all, it's enough to drive you crazy if you choose to focus on that. Which I do not. I do not choose to focus on that. And that's why I don't talk about it too much. Because I don't want to. I, don't, I really don't want to give credence to it, okay? Um, because there's just so many backstories and, you know, if you talk to medical professionals that you may know, they may tell you some of the truth or they may tell you some other stories when it comes out in COVID-19. I'm going to leave it at that. But it's just, just COVID-19 is out and the Delta, the Delta variant comes out having lotteries to have the shot that wasn't going on for chicken pox and the German measles and all that stuff but if you can recall maybe you're not but maybe you do if you have children there's a series of shots that ch children have to get in order to even go to school okay you're not hearing about that stuff people are still getting the measles people are still getting chicken pox so I don't know I don't know I mean, we can talk about this if you choose to talk about it, but I just found it very odd. The whole reason I brought up everything that I brought up just now for it to snap into place was I actually had a screenshot of an article where they were saying, I don't know if it was the CD said, that CDC was saying to do this or not, but some organization was saying that vaccinated people need to wear the masks. I thought that was supposed to be the cure. There's a reason why doctors' offices aren't called offices, and they're called practices. I'll talk to y'all. Happy hump day! Hump day! Go back to the Monday show. Get the questions. Because the next show, I will be announcing the winner.